So hello y'all, this is um, the third video of the Make Money Work For You series and today I'm going to cover the tools and techniques I have used to help me make money work for me. So um, as I said, this month of November I'm, I'm covering this series and um, again it's another series of five tips, just five tips. And um, you guys, you know my story, I've told it to you before. I'm a mother, I'm a Christian, passionate about Jesus. So I personally believe that I should not be running after money. Like, honestly, I believe that I should be focusing my time and energy more on the things that I'm passionate about, right? That I really love. Um, my goal is not to become the next billionaire. I really don't care. What I care about is my family is okay. I empower people. People are lighting up. Uh, people are living in life and in truth and in power and in, you know, in victory. So that's that's really my passions. So that's why I came up with different ways to make money work for me. And uh, the first one is um, earn value management. So there are a lot of terms you will notice that I have picked from the project management jargon. But that's because, I mean, project management is not just about all these technical things and technical terms. These terms actually apply to our lives. So I apply them very well to my life. So earn value management is a very, very complicated subject in PMP. But essentially, what, did it, what is it? Is how can my inputs produce more outputs? So I apply that. How did I apply that? How is what I'm doing now during this hour going to produce more output with what I'm putting in? So for me, the way I decided to restructure the way I do things and uh, my activities is to say, what can I do and how can I multiply the output of what I'm doing? I don't know if you get that. So that, that has sort of shaped um, practically every different activity, initiative, and project in which I invest myself and my money. So I make sure that if in a week, can, in, can I do in two days, can I do in three days what I would have done during the week? Then I maximize on that and the rest of the week I focus on my babies, my ministry, and empowering people. So that's the first point. That's the first technique, earned value management. It's, it's more complex than that, but it's five tips, so that's all. The second one is cost-benefit analysis. I'm always thinking, okay, before I do this, is this, would the benefit outweigh the cost? When I realize that the cost might be too much um, and my, I'll be my benefit, I really choose not. I decide not to invest or to venture into that element. The third one is, again, taken from PMP, <laughs> I establish processes. PMP is all about processes. Project management is all about processes. So one process that I learned, I discovered recently, um, um, intentionally, and that I intentionally use is the customer acquisition process. I read this book, a very, very good book, One Page Marketing Plan. Oh, it just breaks everything down for you in terms of marketing and customer acquisition. And the great thing with this is once you know what you want from your customer, from once you know the process, right, then you are, you use it, um, strategically. So, you know, even if you're not a marketing person or a salesperson, you have to know at least what the customer acquisition process is. You have to know that it starts with awareness. You have to let people know about what you're doing. People cannot know what you're doing if you don't tell them. If you're not all over, all over in different platforms telling people what you're doing, um, then people who are interested, that those are the ones you capture. If you notice, I always have a subscribe link. If you're interested in this, subscribe. If you're interested in grants, us writing grants for you to get pro your projects funded, subscribe here. If you're interested in project management, subscribe here. If you're interested in consulting, you know, anyways, that's how you capture the interest, right, by subscriptions. Then desire, the people who have the desire for it, you now exchange more with them. 
the desire and then the desire evaluation and evaluation to evaluate is this the right fit for me and all that and then you do the justification you're justifying yeah it's nice it's this it's that and then if you've justified it well enough you get your sale and um and then afterwards once you have the, the customer you have to retain the customer scale add more products you, you've seen us add more services as we go and then um advocate have your customers advocate for your services so the fourth point, because uh, the time is running, <laughs> is um, organization process assets. Again, that's another PMP term, but very simple term, very simple to understand. Basically, this is what your organization has accumulated over time, your templates, your historical information, your lessons learned, knowledge base, um, different guidelines. So I use a lot of templates for my collaborators, so actually here, but you can see them. I use a lot of templates because it facilitates work, and um, you can do many things because of templates that are already in place. And the last one is reinvest. Reinvest. Let me tell you the truth. For the last month that I've been speaking about making money work for me, <laughs> I've had a lot of people uh, reach out to me for money issues because they think I'm a billionaire. I am not. <laughs> I'm still trying to make money work for me. Um, but what we have done, uh, and I don't just take the credit by myself, uh, my husband and I is reinvest a lot. So this is a year, of course, I've had a lot of, we had a lot of, of um, customers and cash in, but we've also had a, have a lot of cash out because we constantly reinvest and because you know how it is with money. As, as long as you have money on you, you'll find a place to, you know, for it to go away. So it, it might as well just go into um, other investments. I spoke to you guys about the, the investment we did recently on, in the microfinance. Uh, we've invested in land. We've invested in many others. So when you ask me today, I don't have much money on me. I don't have much cash flow on me. <laughs> it is we invested in some wealth, um, uh, in some assets that will create wealth um, either now or in a month or in a, in a year. Or oh, in two or three years or five years. So that's some of my tips to make money work for you. So those are some of the tools and techniques that I've used. And I hope that this will be valuable to you and that you can apply them in your projects and in any of your services and products that you're doing right now. All right. So see you later and uh, bye bye. God bless you. Bye.